You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up the bat. Bah. Bitch, I'm driving a Bennett. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in that It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos, man. You already know, man. We're back with another Nukes Top 5. Before we get into it, I need you to drop with you in the chat, man. Let me know that you with me, man, as we go on this journey, man. You know, I ain't a big fan, but I'm here. But, um, yeah, so we back with another Nukes Top 5. We got top 10 ghost videos that scream at you from your nightmares. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad. Let's get it. Which one is it? There we go. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. Project Paranormal. Paranormal investigator Dave Jones from the YouTube channel Project Paranormal sent me an email about a video he received from a friend. Dave's friend says that he's been experiencing disturbing paranormal activity in his historic home in Michigan, a house that was once used as a funeral home. The man says that at all hours of the day and night, he hears the sounds of conversations, footsteps, and even the front door opening and closing on its own. In an attempt to capture some kind of evidence of the strange events, he sets up a camera in his living room and leaves to go to work. I got when he comes home already. and checks his footage, he is shocked by what he finds. A creepy shadow-like figure can be seen walking through the living room and behind the couch. Dave and his friend believe the apparition to be a visible manifestation of the spirit that haunts the home. Whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be a normal shadow, because as you can see, it clearly passes behind the couch. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this video over on Dave's YouTube channel, Project Paranormal. Hey, get out of here, man. Marissa Whitehead and her boyfriend are spending the night at the in Saskatchewan, Canada, when suddenly out of the corner of her eye, Marissa spots something odd moving in the bathroom. She takes out her phone and starts to record. Man, hell Marissa nah. says they checked the ceiling, but nobody was up there. Hell no. Nah. And besides that, this flimsy drop ceiling would be too weak to support the weight of even the smallest person. But you do have to admire the ghost vanquishing technique of right. Marissa's boyfriend. Ah! He chilling. Hey, girl, you before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Passing through. W. Wahid posted a video of his nephew playing in his new light up rabbit hat at their home in Indonesia, but he caught something else that he wasn't expecting. Something downright chilling. A strange misshapen dark figure seems to run by in the background. The fuck? Now some commenters suggested that it could simply be another small child running past the door. But that just doesn't look like a child to me. And the kid would also have to be running along at about the speed of an Olympic sprinter. So did Wahid capture an odd shadow creature in their home? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide Bro, chills like what they do in the shadows. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is back with another exploration of an extremely haunted location in China, a house that has been abandoned for over 20 years. This mysterious house is very different from the other local buildings around it, as it looks like something right out of a medieval fairy tale. All that is known about the large estate is that the last owner was a very wealthy man 
whose life was taken under very strange and tragic circumstances. The house never sold as many bizarre rumors began to circulate that the home was cursed. Locals began to refer to the estate as, quote, the haunted house. So Xiao Long sets out to investigate whether the building is truly haunted or if it's all just local legend that started up because of the house's odd appearance. As always, Xiao Long broadcasts his exploration live to his Chinese live stream audience. So he laughed. <laughs> Xiao Long heads inside and immediately discovers that the odd interior of the house matches the extravagant outside, and the ghost hunter gets a little creeped out by the decor. Now Xiao Long begins to ask some questions directed at any spirits that might inhabit the house, but not in Chinese. Who are you? I'm here. Yeah, I'm a vampire. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? What am I you like your soul? You're a shining on the Gui Wood Gan Yo Lenya. Shame him a Gui Wood Gan Yo. Oh my God, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? He brave to be in there by himself. Hey, 我操你妈！鸡皮疙瘩出来了！我操你妈！你看到这窗户没 ？Did you guys see the window? 虫子哪能干他妈这么大呀？再说是风的情况下，那那后边那叶子咋不动呢 ？Oh, that was the window. After Xiao Long asks a few questions in English, a window begins to oddly shake and vibrate on its own. The ghost hunter points out that the leaves behind the window don't move, eliminating the possibility that it might have been wind or a draft. Then Xiao Long hears something coming from downstairs, and things take a terrifying turn. Who? He going down there, bro? He wilding. Don't do it. What the fuck? He kicked it. Two folding trestles move on their own. They almost appear to be walking, and so Shalong runs over and kicks the shit out of them, as you do when trestles start walking about. Anyway, Shalong runs outside and takes a break to gather his courage. He then returns and continues to explore. On the second floor, he looks through a window and sees a car parked outside nearby. Shalong becomes concerned that the locals might have alerted someone about the ghost hunter's secret visit. To the house, he doesn't know it yet, 
but that is about to be the least of his worries. Because what happens next is downright chilling. Nothing's in there? What the? Yo, he a shadowy soldier. figure can be seen standing at the window in the next room. He quickly runs over, but there's no one there. Shocked by what he's just witnessed, he once again runs outside. But he isn't done just yet. He finds that whoever had parked their car and was snooping around has left. So he heads back inside to investigate once again. And it did not go well. Bro, he is crazy. He tripping. Oh my god, this dude tripping. As Xiao Long looks into a mirror, he sees someone or something standing behind him. But when he turns around, no one there. Whoever or whatever he saw standing behind him in the mirror has disappeared in a split second. So just what did Xiao Long capture live on camera? Are the local stories true? Is the mysterious home really haunted? Let me know what you think. You can find this video and many more of Xiao Long's explorations with English subtitles over on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiao Long, through the looking glass. TikTok user Kaylin Moore from Los Angeles, California claims that an old mirror in her home sometimes shows things that just aren't there. Throw that shit away. So this is an old mirror that I upcycled and no. I swear that sometimes you can see stuff in the background of the mirror that isn't actually there in real life. So I'm just going to do a couple back and forths, but I'm curious to see if anyone sees anything that maybe I didn't catch. So here we go. Here's the mirror. Okay, so that's the background. Once again, she too calm, bro. This is apartment. weird. All right, comment if you see anything that's out of place. Did you see it? No. As Kaylin's looking in the mirror, something can be seen sitting on the couch right behind her. But when she turns around, it's gone. Whatever it is, it seems to only be visible in the mirror. Now, whether it's real or just another elaborate TikTok hoax. As always, I leave it up to you to decide. People That's not a cow. Nuke's top five viewer Rodriguez sent in a video that he recorded in the woods near his home in Texas. In the video, he explains that he and his cousin have made a quote base near the woods and he's attempting to show it off on camera. What happens next is truly bizarre. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys my cool base that I made a while ago with my cousin. It's really nice. See, we got the entrance all fenced off. Got this thing, I don't know what it is. Oh. Well, that stinks. But yeah, we got some chairs. What was that? Is that a cow? What is that? What? Oh, freak! <laughs> A weird white humanoid figure comes crawling out of the woods and humanoid. charges towards him on what appears to be freakishly long arms and legs. Now, is the video real? Is it a hoax? You decide. 
But this video does have one of the best lines I've ever heard when someone encounters something paranormal. <laughs> Is that a cow? Oh, for <laughs> it was not a cow. Observed. Urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hills sets out to explore the enough. abandoned Warner and Swayze Observatory in Cleveland, Ohio. The impressive structure was built in the early 1900s and served as an astronomical research facility until it was abandoned in 1982. As always, Chris records his explorations to capture what's left of the historical architecture before it's too late. However, this time that's not all that he captures. Watch closely as Chris randomly films around the outside of the observatory building. Did you see it? Someone or something seems to be watching Chris from the bushes before seemingly disappearing into thin air. What? Chris doesn't even notice and has no idea what he just recorded. But later, after he posts the video, his viewers point it out in the YouTube comments. So who or what is this? Let me know what you think. You can watch even more explorations of amazing historic abandoned buildings over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Mm. Back to the factory. A while ago, I featured the extremely frightening videos of ghost hunter ILM and Bono Paranormal, who captured alleged supernatural evidence at an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. Over 60 years ago, the factory was forced to shut down after a devastating explosion claimed the lives of many of the workers. It is said that the building is extremely haunted by the restless spirits of those workers. After Bono experienced multiple terrifying events at the factory, he had had enough for a while, and he decided just to take a break. He but a few dead. months have passed and the explorer is finally ready to return to the creepy old building. And things get weird. Almost immediately after Bono enters the factory, strange things start to happen. Anything changed in here? No. I just <laughs> I probably stepped in a spider web that freaked the shit out of me. Bro, I yeah. was like, what the fuck? I stepped in this. Ooh. Okay. That was the scariest thing. Or it maybe wasn't. Bono is a bit freaked out when he accidentally walks through a spider web. Then he hears a loud bang coming from somewhere in the building and goes to investigate. These people are crazy. Next level. What the fuck was that smoke? No way. The explorer sees something out of the corner of his eye, and as he turns, an unexplained cloud of smoke can be seen floating through the air. Bono has no idea what he has just witnessed, but he continues to explore. What happens next is truly bizarre. I didn't upload for like five, six months, and you like really get that video to 1K, even though I didn't upload for half a year. So, thank you. And so, yeah, I now want to go in uh, in the room with the chair, probably because I want to communicate with them, and I think that room is good for communication. Plus, I have my camera on there. Hello. Did you see it? Bono oh, was talking shit. to his viewers and isn't paying attention when in the back of one of the rooms, something seems to quickly hide behind a closet. 
Pano walks away but quickly turns back when a loud sound can be heard from the room. He decides to set up two static GoPro cameras and begins to ask questions to the spirits that might be haunting the factory. That's when the unexplained activity takes a terrifying turn. He's scared as fuck, look. <laughs> He's scared as fuck. Look at him, look. This door is closed. This thing. I don't know if you can see it. Another cup. First a glass seems to be thrown at a wall near Bono, then a cup is flung across the room. Now the explorer is starting to freak out from the aggressive paranormal activity, but he holds it together and continues his investigation. Man. He heads to another room inside the abandoned factory and sets up another static GoPro camera. Again, he hears a strange noise coming from somewhere nearby. So, we're in this room. Just so it's almost stand there. Just so it's pointing. Hello? Yeah, I blocked this so it won't fall. scared of this. Hello? I heard sounds from here. I swear. Hello? No. Oh, A heavy closet falls over completely on its own. And with that, Bono has finally had enough and decides to just get out of yeah, there. Yeah, you got to go. So you could got the factory go. be haunted by the restless spirits of the workers who tragically lost their lives there? I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch all of Bono's explorations at the Haunted Factory over on his YouTube channel, ILMN Bono Paranormal. Many moons ago. YouTube and TikTok user Joel Vasquez from San Antonio, Texas claims that late one night at around 3.40 a.m. he saw something very odd. Bro, y'all missed it. It's like 3.40 in the morning. Oh, that lunar eclipse? Badass eclipse, man. Y'all missed that s***. Man, this crazy. Hey. Man, y'all missed that guy. Which is weird though, cause there's like a moon over here. That's why I thought it was weird, but I was like, whatever. There's two of them. It, whatever. So I'm honestly not sure what to think of this video. And Joel's YouTube viewers are divided. Some appreciate the funny commentary, and others believe that Joel has witnessed everything from an alien spaceship to an interdimensional portal. Some even claim to have seen the exact same phenomenon in San Antonio and other cities across Texas. Mm. So is it real or just a funny and well done hoax? You decide. Ooh, man, this crazy. Weird, but I was like, whatever. There's two of them. The Secret Farm. Dutch urban explorer Mark from the YouTube channel Mark Benick is on the road with his friend Luke when they discover a completely abandoned old farmhouse in the countryside of Belgium. Inside the home, the two friends find many old photos and portraits of the previous owners, and they discover extensive financial records dating back to the 1970s that have just been left behind. Mark and Luke have no idea why someone abandoned the house and so many personal belongings. After they've explored the property, Mark uploads his recorded footage to his YouTube channel. And some viewers are quick to point out something that Mark and Luke just didn't notice. As the explorers try to find a way through the bushes surrounding the property, Mark records something truly disturbing. 
Hier gaan we in ieder geval niet binnenkomen, laten we voor een andere weg zoeken. We vallen hier natuurlijk ook heel erg op, dus laten we snel gaan. Omdat we zo hier ergens een ingang kunnen vinden, zie je hier ook al een kapelletje. En hier is een ingang. Snel gaan we aan de zijkant van dit kapelletje de bosjes in, zodat we volledig uitzicht zijn. We gaan met een heel groot verlaten huis liggen. Did you see it? As Mark and Luke are maneuvering their way through the dense bushes surrounding the property, someone or something can be seen peeking out at them from behind a wall. Mark and Luke didn't see anything at the time and only discovered this creepy lurker after the video was uploaded to YouTube. So just who or what is this? You can watch this full adventure and many more urban explorations over on the YouTube channel Mark Ben Ick. All right, that was Nuke's top 10 ghost videos that scream at you from your nightmares, man. That was, that was creepy. It kind of got a little lighter towards the end, but man, it had some joints in there that had me shook. I ain't even gonna lie. But they run into the ghost. They run into the action. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, man. I'm not running towards nothing. None of that. I'm out. I'm gone. But if you made it to the end, if you made it to the end, man, I need you to draw a real one in the chat, man. You are a real one, man, and I appreciate you, man. But look, self-love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey!